A Ryder Cup team. <laughs> really great. Um, almost as good as winning the US Open. That was probably the highlight. And then the Ryder Cup, yeah. And that, and that was amazing. <laughs> what? I thought Graham McDowell was Irish. Stop. Don't click off the video yet. This Graham McDowell is an unsung hero of Scottish golf. What? Is... Constraints based coaching. Constraints based coaching. That's a that's a great question. It's just a kind of approach that sets you really good challenges and games and lets you figure a bunch of stuff out yourself. So uh, nobody's telling you what to do. You've got to get on with it yourself. Work stuff out. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, as a result of that, you have a bit of fun. Hopefully, become a better player. Okay. Who do you think? will be the next person to win the Open or Scotsman? That's an interesting question. Who do you think is going to be the next Scot to win the Open? You. Me? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can rule me out and we can rule your dad out. Um, but we've got a great bunch of young players coming through just now. Um, you know, and all the all the guys you're probably aware of, Connor Syme and Robert McIntyre mm -hmm. and uh, Callum Hill and all these guys. So we're, we're going to get another major... We're going to get another major champion in the next five to ten years. I'm, I'm almost sure of it. Okay. Um, when are you going to win the Open, Brody? Uh, no. <laughs> well, if I work hard enough. If you got stranded on a an island, what would what one thing would you take? That's, that's a great question. I would take <clears throat> my bike, my road bike. So I would, I would hope it would be on a hilly island um, with lots of roads to cycle up because I'm a keen cyclist. What would you take oh. to an island? That's that's more interesting. What would you take if you were stuck on an Probably island? Probably my puppy, Bad. Bree, because ah. um, then you could... Um, take because there would because there would be uh, water all around you, and you would find food on the island. Yeah, you would. Absolutely. Yeah, my puppy would be happy with me. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a time machine, what would would you go back or forwards in time? Oh, I mean, that's a deep question. That is, can, would I go back or forward in time? Uh, well, that's that's. Uh, I would definitely. I don't think I'd go back uh, because you know I've kind of things are fine. Would I go forward in time? Um, I, I'm going to come back. Can I come back to that question? Yeah. Yeah, that's a deep question. That is. I'm gonna have to give the that one some best thought. Best answer would probably be to be go forward in time, so you could avoid the virus for the rest of the times that it's around. Oh, that's a good. That's a good answer. Yeah. No, that's a really good answer. I, I, I think. Um, however, I, I think I've got my answer, and I think I would go back in time okay. uh, to when I started playing golf and um, remind myself just to enjoy playing golf for the sake of it and okay. not take it so seriously. I think that's what I would do. That would be good advice to my what younger self. What made you 
what made you move from selling golf tees to working as an academic? Well, your father was the main inspiration. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, well, I, I, I could see what I could become. Um, yeah, well, that was that was probably uh, related to the last question as well, because if you want to be a good player, then selling golf tees probably isn't the best fit. And I remember I had the choice um, of being a postman or becoming an assistant professional. And um, I, all I can say is I definitely played more golf if I'd become a postman, because they're always finished by about 11 o'clock in the morning, or at least some are, and I could have played more golf. Okay. These are tough questions. These are tough questions, Brody. Yeah. Um, do you play Fortnite? No, I don't, but my son does. Oh. Uh, okay. he, he must be an expert the amount of hours he puts into it. How much money does he spend on skins? That's a really good question. He tells me he doesn't spend any money on skins. How much, do you spend money on skins? Yeah. You I... do? I honestly buy the battle pass every time it comes out. How much is a battle pass? Um, um an extra twenty-four tiers. It's two thousand and ninety-five V bucks. Well, about twelve pounds odd, but one <sighs> is sit. No, it's more than twelve pounds. Or oh, and then it would, but to get the one. Just on tier one, you could get um, for six forty-eight, or you could get one for nine ninety-nine by getting a crew pack, and you would have to pay nine ninety-nine every month to stay in the Fortnite crew, and you would get a free battle pack five tiers. Right, well, okay. check, with my, check with my son how much money he's spending on this game then. What was your hat? Handicap when you were nine. My handicap when I was nine was zero. No, it wasn't. <laughs> well, I didn't start playing golf until I was almost fourteen. <laughs> so I didn't have a handicap when I was nine. So it was uh, there. You are. I was I was late to the game. Okay. What does it take to become a golf pro- pro- professional? Well, it, yeah, it takes a it takes a lot of hard work, um, and it takes a lot of perseverance. Perseverance is the biggest thing. Um, mm-hmm. You know, if you can stick into it for long enough, and uh, yeah, a rich father, because you'll be able, you'll be able to keep you playing golf uh, for long enough, so you don't need to get a job. That's the biggest barrier. And all, all joking aside, the biggest barrier for most young people is they get mm-hmm. to an age where where they need to get a job and. Um, you know, and if you, that can be the, the problem. But perseverance, hard work, all of that stuff. Um, mm-hmm. Yeah, and be in it for long enough to get good enough at it. Okay. How can people contact you about constraint-based coaching? Well, the, probably the easiest place is on Twitter. Um, at Graham McDowell, where they'll probably end up following the uh, the actual Ryder Cup player and former US Open champion. Um, but to look hard enough, they'll be able to find me there. And um, in my bio, it says Constraints Life Coaching, so they'll be able to find me there. Okay. That have, you, is... have you done any Constraints Coaching with your dad? I bet you have. I bet, he's, I bet he designs dad. loads of fun games for you. I honestly yeah? have. Yeah, I bet you. I've been watching your stuff okay. on uh, on Twitter and whatnot. You're doing really well. <laughs> Thank you for letting me interview you. Pleasure. Anytime. Tough questions. As you know, I want to be a Sun Devil and go to university in Arizona. Do you want to study golf next to the home golf? Give S-R-U-C a try. Give my puppy bravery. <laughs> Whether it's to be a player or a coach, then this is definitely the place to come. We've got putting greens, we've got chipping areas, and we've got we've got two ranges, and we've got an 18-hole golf course, so it's absolutely perfect. The golf course, of course, is owned by the college, so it's a unique opportunity for students to have access to a facility like this.
sometimes students think they have to be a fantastic golfer to come, and they don't. You know, they can develop their game while they're here with us for over a number of years. If you're qualified and you can work at a golf facility in Scotland, that will actually hold a bit more kudos on your CV because of Scotland's title as a home of golf, or especially Fife. Candidates who look to travel abroad will probably, they're definitely looked upon more favourably. They've got like one of the best short games, the driving range is good. It's quite handy because it's so close to the campus as well. If you are a good enough player, then you can apply for a bursary with the RNA and that can contribute towards your expenses for playing tournament golf and equipment and coaching. It also gives you access to their uh, bursar's tournaments. In my country, Slovakia, we don't have anything like golf study, so that's why I chose to come here into Scotland, into the home of golf. You can uh, graduate from our programmes into second, third year of university. The golf industry is uh, a pretty exciting place to work in terms of career opportunities, worldwide travel. I'm a keen golfer and I wanted to just see how far I can take it.